What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to Bourbon of the Week. My name's Chris. I'm going to be your host for today, and today we have two bottles from Sagamore Spirits. One of those is Dusty Debut. If you're not following Dusty Dan's whiskey reviews here on YouTube, you're doing it wrong. Both of these are cash strength rise. This one's an eight year. This one is between four and seven years. We're going to try these up. We're going to see which one you guys should pick up. Make sure you follow along. Make sure you click that like and subscribe button. Let's pour these up right now. So as you may or may not know, we're going to use our Great Whiskey Challenge tasting kit. The best thing about these glasses right here is they have a pour line, so I know exactly how much I should be pouring. So we pour our A into our A and our B into our B. Then the next step, let's mix these up. I have a terrible memory, so that's gotta be good. Over here, we have our Cash Strength Sagamore Spirit Rye. This is a blend of two rye mash bills. They have a high rye mash bill, as well as a low rye mash bill. This particular bottle comes in at 112.2 proof. They use limestone mineral water to proof it down to that 112.2 proof ever so slightly. This over here though, like I already mentioned, is Dusty's debut. This is a barrel select. This is also Sagamore Spirit Rye. This one happens to be 110 proof. Straight rye whiskey on both of these. I'm excited to see which one we like better and if we can tell a difference. I have a lot of faith and a lot of trust in Dusty Dan, so I know he's going to pick something good. Let's try this out. Everybody knows. Time for the traditional sip. Cheers, y'all. Right off the bat, this one's delicious. So I don't like to lie to you guys, I'll tell you the truth. This is the first pick that I've added to my collection. Dusty Dan, I trust him, I consider a friend at this point. I will say there's a lot of YouTubers putting out a lot of great picks. We know about the big guys, Bourbon Junkies, My Bourbon Journey, Mash and Drum, ADHD Whiskey, all putting out great picks. I believe that Trev from the Bourbon Wrench along with Shelf Turge just put out a pick. I know Stuff and Whiskey, Josh and Aaron just put out a pick. I've already had the Sagamore, I wanted to try it with what he put out here. Let's try these up, let's see which one we like better. This sip first, let's try it again. Listen, this glass on the first couple of sips is absolutely delicious. It almost reminds me of like a Midwinter's Night Dream and Barrel Seagrass had a baby. There's so much fruitiness on the front. You get that evergreen flavor in the middle right there. And then that rye spice really comes along at the end and just finishes this off so nicely. I will say whether this is 110 proof or 112.2 proof, it sips very easy. I wouldn't put either of these near those proofs. I will say one thing on this and the only thing that it's missing right here is a very, very short finish. I think the finish could be a lot longer but at the end of the day, this is still absolutely delicious. But let's get into glass number two over here again, not knowing which one's which. We're going to talk about drinkability. We're going to talk about price. And then we're going to talk about taste, obviously. This one, drinkability is the first thing that I noticed. 100% a lot easier to sip than this one over here. We already talked about how good this one was to sip, but this one right here, no ethanol content on this at all. And listen, normally the easier it is to drink, the less flavor you're gonna get behind that glass. But I will say this, this is a lot easier to drink and I feel like I get just as much, if not more flavor when it comes to the actual taste profile. This is giving me a little bit less of those rye flavors and a little bit more of that bourbon flavor that I truly love. This glass right here, 100%, if I tried it, I could tell you that it's a rye. I would be able to pick that out of a lineup. This one over here, though, is kind of giving me almost more of a burr rye type of flavor profile than a straight up rye. Again, I don't know which one this is, but as of right now, after the first couple of sips, I will say that this one is drinking a lot more towards my flavor profile than this glass over here. Now, neither of these glasses are bad by any means. Going up against each other, they're definitely different, and I did not expect them to be that different. I'm gonna go back and forth a couple of times here just to try to pick out some more flavor profiles and see which one I like better. After a couple of sips back and forth here, I still have to say this one drinks a little bit hotter, definitely more of that rye spice, definitely more of that rye flavor profile. While this one sips a little bit easier, it gives me more of those sweetness, those flavor notes that I truly love behind a bourbon. Now, knowing that these are both ryes, it's kind of hard to tell which one you would like better. But for me personally, I think this one's going to be number two and this one's going to be number one off of the first couple of sips. But let's talk about these bottles real quick. We've already talked about this Sagamore Spirits over here, four to seven years old. While this one's pushing eight years, we're talking about two different rye mash bills on these. 
But at the end of the day, this one is $69 while this one is $59. Now, if you want to help support Dusty Dan's whiskey reviews, go on to Shareport. I'll put it in the link in the description below. You can buy this bottle. You can add it to your collection. I would highly recommend it no matter which one ends up winning this because both of these bottles are absolutely delicious. If you haven't tried Sagamore Spirits, make sure you check them out. We're going to finish these off. We're going to pick a winner and then I'm going to let you know what I think about Dusty Dan's reviews versus what I think about the actual Sagamore Spirits. Let me put it this way, no matter which one of these bottles you have, you're gonna absolutely love it, but we're gonna figure out which one I like the best, and I gotta stick with this one over here. This one's gonna be our winner. Again, a little bit easier to drink when you're talking a 2.2 proof difference, and the flavor profile for me is just absolutely fantastic, but let's figure out which one won. Let's get to it right now. So we have bottle A as our regular Sagamore, we have bottle B as our Dusty review, but everybody knows we gotta figure out which one's which, and our winner is glass b which is a dusty debut i gotta be honest with you this man knows what he's talking about when it comes to whiskey i trusted him from the beginning and he pulled through here at the end this is absolutely a delicious glass which means bottle a is sagamore spirits regular which came in a close second again you can't go wrong with either one of these but definitely if you have an opportunity pick up dusty dan's whiskey reviews bottle pick the link in the description below but hey, if you've made it this far in the video, make sure you click that like and the subscribe button. Check us out on Instagram at Bourbon of the Week. If you want to help support the channel out, check out our Patreon page as well as our Discord link in the description below. Please don't drink and drive. Always drink responsibly and stay healthy, stay happy, stay drinking. Cheers, y'all. Nothing left.